guys, my name is Lucy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please do consider smashing that subscribe button. I would love to have you join our little family and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Today's video is actually one that was requested by one of you guys. You sent me a DM on Instagram asking me to do this video and I think it is a great idea so thank you so much. As always guys, if you have any video requests, pop them down below in the comments because I love making the videos that you guys want to watch. So today we are going to be talking about personal statements for drama school. I know many people find the term personal statements very very stressful but I am here to make your stresses go away maybe and just to basically share any insights that I have with you guys that will hopefully make the experience a little bit better. So without further ado let's get into the video. Firstly let's talk about the personal statement as a whole before we get into what we need to cover in it. Now every school is going to want a different thing. Auditioning for drama school is slightly different to just applying to normal uni on UCAS. If you're applying to normal uni on UCAS you write one personal statement that you submit to UCAS and that will go to all your schools fish bash bosh job done. Some drama schools work in this way so for example GSA the personal statement went through UCAS also Mountview and Royal College of Scotland. However Artsed and Erdang wanted separate personal statements. A lot of times drama schools will ask you for a personal statement that is slightly shorter than the UCAS one because to be honest with you guys it is really not that important for drama school auditions. That is the first thing that I want to get across to you is don't stress about it. Of course do it try your best but it is not going to make or break your place at drama school and I think that is something that a lot of people think it will. Honestly drama schools are interested in how incredibly talented you all are not how well you can write about yourself. You need to be super aware of what different schools want. Just make sure when you're doing your audition planning and your applications to double and triple check what the schools want from you. If they just want the standard UCAS one then that is easy but if they want one that is separate make sure you're prepared in advance because you don't want to be trying to cut and paste your UCAS statement and cut stuff out that's important. You still want it to be a cohesive piece of writing you don't want it to sound like you've just cut up your UCAS statement to make it shorter. The reason that I say that the personal statement isn't that important for drama school auditions is because most schools interview. Now I am going on the basis of what schools have done before. I'm obviously aware that due to coronavirus I think a lot of schools are still going to be auditioning online this year so I don't know if maybe the personal statement will hold a little bit more weight if schools aren't interviewing but again they might just interview on Zoom. So yes your interview is your chance to show off your personality and basically verbally tell them what you've said in your personal statement. Also don't be worried about including your academic grades in your drama school personal statement. I know in a normal personal statement sometimes you will have to include your academic grades or your predicted academic grades but for drama school they're not really interested in what you got in your A-level maths because if you got an A and A-level maths it doesn't mean that you can sing a song. So I hope that that general overview makes sense. Now we're going to get into what to include in your personal statement. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a rough kind of structure of how I did it and how I find was a successful way to do it. Obviously there are a million different ways to do it and I'm not saying that this is the right way and I'm not saying that other ways are the wrong way. This is just what worked for me and what I kind of have come to the conclusion is the most efficient way to do it from all the pieces of advice that I was given. So personally I would start off with what sparked your interest in performing. I always think it's good to go in chronological order. It's just going to make sure that your personal statement has flow and you're not jumping here there and everywhere. So what first sparked your interest in performance? Was it a show you saw as a child? Was it a performer that you used to watch on the TV? Are your parents into musical theatre? Was there a soundtrack of a show that you listened to? What was it that drew you to this profession? Now this does not matter if you were like me and you saw Billy Elliot when you were six and that was why you loved musical theatre or you saw your first musical when you were 17 and thought oh my gosh where is musical theatre been my whole life? It literally doesn't matter. Just be honest and say this is what happened, this is why I love theatre and this is what sparked my passion. At the end of the day we all go into this profession because it is our passion and we love it so let them know what made you love musical theatre. Then I would go into a brief training history. Now of course going to drama school people have the most varied amount of training coming into first year. Some people I know have literally been dancing since they came out of the womb, they went to performing arts school, they went to performing arts sixth form, they did a BTEC in musical theatre and now they did a 
foundation and now they're doing a degree. Some people like me went to mainstream school the whole way through, did a bit of performing arts on the side and then came and did their degree. And some people literally just audition cold and are just epically talented and have so much raw talent that all they need is that three years of drama school to get them ready for the industry. So if you have trained, give a background on where you trained, what different styles you trained in. Did you focus on tap or on ballet or did you have singing lessons? Were you a classically trained singer like myself? What sort of things did you do growing up prior to coming to drama school that may have prepared you for this training? And again, if you haven't done anything, do not stress. That is absolutely fine. Drama school also love people just with raw talent that they can build from no training to being an absolute legend. The next thing is kind of goes along with your training and that is any performance experiences. Now I'm not saying list I did my year three ballet performance, my year four ballet performance, my grade six ballet presentation. I don't mean that. Just list any performances that you find are significant and maybe memorable for a certain reason. So for example, was it your final high school production where you got the lead role? Or was it a concert that you did with your drama school and you got to perform in front of loads of people? Were you in a gospel choir? Were you in a flash mob at your local mall? Any performance experience that you find was significant and important to you, include it in there. Again, it just shows experience and that you have a passion and love for what you're doing. Once again, like the training, if you haven't done any performance, that is okay. Do not stress, you're gonna get plenty of performance experience at drama school. So the next thing is, what made you decide that you wanted to take your training to the next level? Going to study musical theater at drama school is a big commitment and a big step towards the rest of your life. We are literally training to pursue a career in what we love. What made you decide that this industry was the right one for you? We all know that this is a super tough industry and you don't make much money, but there's something inside all of us that makes us literally forget all of that and just go for it 110%. Was there a certain performance that you saw? Did you play a certain role? Was there a certain performer that you saw? Was there a certain school that you saw perform at a dance convention? Or did you go and see a school's third year show? What was it that made you decide this is the career path for me? Besides anything else, this is what I want to pursue. The next thing is what makes you right for drama school? Now, not everyone is right for drama school. Some people are insanely talented, but drama school is just not the right thing for them. Some people decide to go straight out into the industry. Some people decide, I love performing, but drama school is not right for me. I'm gonna go to uni, do another degree, and pursue a more normal job. So is drama school right for you because you are organized, you are driven, you have an absolute passion for musical theater? What is the thing that makes you think that drama school is the right step for you? The next point is one that is only if your personal statement is specific to the school. So if this is your general personal statement for UCAS that's gonna go to multiple schools you're not going to want to include this but if it's a school specific personal statement just a sentence or two about this I think is super important and that is why is this the right school for you there are so many drama schools out there what makes Erdang or GSA or Lippa or Mountview or Bird the right school for you have you seen shows that their graduates have performed in and you think that is what I want to be they train there so I want to train there have you seen their performances at can you dance have you seen their third year shows what what makes you think that out of all the drama schools that you can apply for, this is the right school for you? And the final thing that I would include is what are your career goals? You can obviously just say, I want to be on the West End, but don't we all? So try and think more outside the box. Do you want to go on cruises? Do you want to go on a world tour? Do you want to be a commercial backup dancer for a global artist? Do you want to pursue film and television? Just because you do musical theatre doesn't mean that you have to stay in musical theatre. There are so many avenues that you can go into. For example, of course I'd love to be on the West End, but also a massive goal of mine is to do a world tour because I can't think of anything better than traveling the world, doing what I love and making money at the same time. Is that not the absolute dream? So just think of what would be some things that you would like to pursue. In this section you could also include some dream roles. What are your favorite shows and what role in those shows would you love to play? Everyone has that one role in their head that you're like, if I got to play this role, life is complete. It shows that you have goals and aspirations and that you are going to work hard because you want to achieve these goals you've set for yourself. Now of course if the personal statement is 200 words you're not going to have room to include all of this. Just include the sections that you feel are most relevant to you. Each section could be a sentence or it could be 10 sentences. Just tweak each section's length for what is right for your personal statement. So guys I hope that this video has been helpful and quite informative. If you have any questions as always please pop them down below. As I said before I am no expert on drama 
school personal statements. I do not work for admissions for drama school. But these are just tips that I've picked up along the way and that have worked for me. So I want to share them with you guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. Also guys, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me and it makes me so very happy. And I'll hopefully see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.